The UEN scout ship Ivory Beach glided through the cosmos, its sleek hull cutting a silent path through an unusually dense asteroid field. The bridge was a hive of controlled chaos, bathed in the soft glow of instrument panels and the occasional flash of a passing asteroid. Officer Alexa, responsible for the ship's life support systems, monitored her readouts with practiced eyes, her calm demeanor a sharp contrast to the palpable tension around her. At the helm, Captain Daniela Lloyd commanded the vessel with a bravado that belied her inexperience. Whispers of her rapid ascent to command, fueled by her wealthy family's influence, often circulated among the crew. Her decisions, marked by a risky assertiveness, did little to quell these rumors or reassure her subordinates. As the ivory beach navigated the intricate dance between hurtling space rocks, Alexa observed an anomaly on her sensors. One of the larger asteroids in their path didn't match the typical readings of inert space debris. Her screens showed irregular patterns, suggesting it might not be an asteroid at all but a dwarf planet, potentially orbited by smaller, fast-moving objects. Captain, I recommend we adjust our course, Alexa reported, her voice steady despite the rising concern. Sensors indicate the large object ahead may have orbiting debris, possibly even active satellites. It's a navigation hazard. Captain Lloyd, standing with an air of unearned confidence, barely glanced at the sensor data. Maintain course, officer. Those sensors pick up shadows half the time. We can handle a few rocks, she dismissed, her tone light, almost mocking. Alexa frowned, her instinct screaming that this was no mere shadow. She double-checked her instruments, her findings unwavering, yet protocol dictated she follow the captain's orders however much she disagreed. Moments later, as the ship drew nearer to the suspected dwarf planet, the bridge's main viewport flickered with an unexpected burst of light. It wasn't the reflection of an asteroid's metallic surface but a sudden, aggressive laser blast that struck the ivory beach squarely along its starboard side. The impact sent a shudder through the ship, alarms blaring and lights flashing a stark red as systems cried out in distress. The crew was thrown into disarray, some clutching their stations for stability, others scrambling to assess the damage. Damage report, Captain Lloyd shouted, her voice finally betraying a hint of panic as the reality of their situation set in. Alexa, already moving to her console, called out the immediate concerns. Hull integrity compromised in sections 3 billion and 4C, life support is holding, but we've got fires in the engine quadrant. Her hands flew over her controls, stabilizing oxygen levels and sealing off compromised sections to prevent further casualties. The bridge crew, galvanized by the sudden attack, worked feverishly. Communications officers attempted to trace the origin of the blast, while navigation fought to maneuver the ship out of further harm's way. All the while, Alexa's warnings echoed in the back of their minds, the ignored advice that could have spared them this chaos. As the initial shock subsided, Captain Lloyd's face was a mask of forced composure. Get us out of here, full power to thrusters, she ordered, her earlier nonchalance replaced by the harsh tone of command. Alexa glanced at the viewport, watching the dwarf planet shrink away as they retreated. She knew this was only the beginning. Whatever secrets that false asteroid held, they were now undoubtedly hostile. And with their captain's credibility shaken, it was up to her and her fellow officers to guide the Ivory Beach through the storm she had steered them into. The bridge of the Ivory Beach was a whirlwind of activity, the tension escalating as the crew pieced together the reality of their predicament. The supposed asteroid field had concealed a far deadlier threat a camouflaged drone base, hidden within what was actually a dwarf planet. This revelation came too late as swarms of drones, both ancient and incredibly advanced, surged out of their concealed hangars and into the void, targeting the scout ship with precision and malice. Alexa, amid the escalating crisis, toggled between her duties with practiced urgency. Her primary concern was the ship's life support systems, which were under strain from multiple hull breaches caused by the drone attacks, her console lit up with alerts, each one a stark reminder of the danger they were in. Sealing off breached compartments, she announced over the commotion, her voice calm but firm as she stabilized the atmosphere and pressure levels across the ship. The drones, operating with an almost sentient coordination, attacked in waves. Each group seemed to know exactly where to strike, exploiting every weakness the ship presented. 
Their tactics were terrifyingly efficient, blasting through the hull's armored layers and disrupting critical systems. The ivory beach shuddered under the onslaught, alarms blaring and lights flickering as it sustained hit after hit. On the bridge, Captain Lloyd attempted to rally her crew, shouting orders to maneuver and counterattack. But the drones were relentless and seemingly one step ahead. Amidst her commands, a sudden explosion rocked the bridge, the force of the blast throwing her against the console, where she struck her head sharply and crumpled to the ground, unconscious. The command structure faltered, the bridge crew frozen momentarily as their captain lay motionless. Alexa's military training kicked in. She left her station momentarily, checking on Lloyd swiftly, her pulse strong, despite the knockout. She's alive, she called out, turning her attention back to the crisis. We need to move now, she shouted, stepping towards the main console to fill the sudden void in leadership. With no one else stepping forward, Alexa took command, her hands flying over the controls as she issued orders. Navigation, evasive maneuvers. Tactical, return fire and deploy countermeasures, her voice was a beacon in the chaos, cutting through the panic with authority and clarity. Under her direction, the crew found their footing, coordinating their efforts to stave off the drone attacks. The ship groaned and creaked as it manoeuvred through space, dodging as many drones as it could. Alexa monitored the life support radouts, ensuring that despite their dire situation, the crew would have air to breathe. Focus on keeping us alive, she muttered to herself, adjusting the energy distribution to reinforce the shields where they were hit hardest. The drone's assault continued, each wave seeming to learn from the last, adjusting their tactics with horrifying adaptability. Alexa realized they were not just fighting a remote-controlled enemy, they were up against a highly sophisticated AI that adapted at every turn. As the attack momentarily ebbed, Alexa seized the brief lull to reassess their status. The Ivory Beach was severely damaged, but still spaceworthy if only just. Her quick thinking and calm under pressure kept the bridge crew focused and may well have prevented a total catastrophe. Looking around at her crew, Alexa knew that if they were to get out of this alive, it would be through unity and sheer determination. The weight of command was heavy on her shoulders, but as the drone base loomed ominously on the main screen, she prepared to make the call that might save them all or seal their fate. The bridge of the Ivory Beach had transformed into a makeshift command center, with Officer Alexa now at the helm. The ship, though heavily damaged, was still limping through space, away from the swarm of hostile drones that had so fiercely attacked them. Captain Lloyd remained unconscious, her condition stable but critical, leaving Alexa to make the pivotal decisions that would determine the fate of the ship and her crew. With the drone's relentless assault fresh in her mind, Alexa concluded their aggression might be territorial, tied to the dwarf planet that hid their base. Acting on this hunch, she ordered, full thrust, get us out of their range, now. The crew responded with urgency, pushing the damaged engines beyond their safe limits, the ship groaning under the strain as it accelerated away from the looming threat. The ivory beach shuddered violently as the engines finally succumbed to the damage they had endured, sputtering out and leaving the ship to drift through the void of space. Miraculously, as they moved beyond the range Alexa had predicted, the drone attack ceased. The silence that followed was profound, a stark contrast to the chaos that had just ensued. Her theory appeared correct the drones were indeed territorial, and their retreat had saved the ship from further destruction. In the quiet that followed, Alexa addressed the crew, explaining her actions and the reasoning behind her decisions. We've just survived an encounter that few could have anticipated. Your response under these conditions was exemplary, she told them, her voice both proud and grateful. The crew, rallied by her leadership and reassurance, began the emergency procedures necessary to stabilize the ship and assess the extent of the damage. As they worked, the tension that had gripped the ivory beach began to ease. Crew members exchanged nods and quiet words of gratitude towards Alexa, whose decisive actions had undoubtedly saved many lives. Her unauthorized takeover of the helm, while technically a breach of command protocol, had been the only reasonable response in a situation where hesitance would have meant certain doom. Later, as Alexa stood alone on the bridge, staring out into the vastness of space, she contemplated the weight of her decisions. 
The crisis had thrust her into a role she had never aspired to, but had risen to meet without hesitation. The respect and gratitude of her crewmates were palpable, yet she knew that her actions might still lead to a court-martial once they returned to command. Reflecting on the events, Alexa felt a complex blend of anxiety and pride. She had acted out of necessity, her priority always the safety and well-being of her crew. The Ivory Beach would eventually reach home, its journey back fraught with challenges due to the damage sustained. However, Alexa felt prepared to face whatever consequences awaited her. She had done her duty as an officer and a protector of her crew. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe. See you for our next sci-fi adventure.